Atlantic beats once again. A lot of people would be of the thoughts that Irish rap and Irish hip hop doesn't work. It's not going to work because of the accent. And yeah, it's just kind of co mimicking, copying the American style. Or even now there's Irish trap and Irish grime and people are saying that's just copying the English. It's just like a straight replica. But for me, I think the accent is our unique selling point. Like in my eyes, the Irish are the best storytellers in the world in my eyes right and that's probably biased we're, we're very creative people so i don't see how hip-hop can't work if hip-hop is a, is basically storytelling so how can irish hip-hop not work in my eyes this is how i feel about it because i think we are such a creative nation group of people we're, we're a clever group of people we're very intelligent and our sense of humor is something that you won't get in any other country so when all this going into the, that genre of music i think it has to it has to eventually kind of rise up and be seen as a, if not something cool something creative in the earlier days like when i was probably just in college or just out of school i got listening to a lad called redzer and he was uh, a Dublin rapper at the time so I remember going into town into I think it was some shop uh, All City Records in Temple Bar and I bought his first album and it was called Dub Life I think it was about 10 quid at the time they had a few copies there but I listened to it all the way home and that, at that point I was like wow like yeah like the Irish people like you can be from Dublin and do this like you know your own way and tell your own story and at the time, I thought that dub life was kind of like, it was a big thing for uh, hip hop. And for me, just personally, like, I just thought, well, wow, okay, I can do this now. I'm cold hearted when the sun is out See I flow like water man, fuck the drought Cobwebs on my wallet when I took it out The spider on it laughed, he never hung a bell Mommy, I'm an artist, I'm not sorry for rapping If it makes me an outcast, I'm sorry Miss Jackson Just being an independent artist is a challenge in itself You've no big backing behind you You've no big marketing schemes You've no, you've no label pushing you So you have to be your own drive, you have to be your own push and you have to basically DIY it. You have to do everything yourself. Headlines on bad news. I'm not pissed off because my YouTube lacks views. You couldn't walk an inch in this man's shoes. If I shot at Dublin players, I still wouldn't kill the blues. You I can get inspired any time during the day. I can be down the road listening to music. I can see something. I can hear a conversation. I can see something on a movie, on, a, on the TV. Uh, there's art out there all the time. Life is art. So there's always something that will inspire you. But for me, I can meet one person in a month and they'll say, look, I heard one of your videos. I, saw, I heard one of your songs. I saw one of your videos. It was cool or keep it up. And that is enough to get you going through the next month. You know what I mean? So you're always building on that, but obviously it would be great and ideal to get a lot more views and kind of people interested in the music, reach a bigger audience. But at the same time, I'm content with making content that connects with people, no matter how many people it is. At peace with my mind when I'm writing a rhyme When I sleep I still dream, it keeps me sane Seeking out the sunshine in the freezing rain Seasons change and people change I would totally say that hip-hop is um, a great medium for self-healing and it's a great, it's very cathartic and uh, it's a great release of emotions and thoughts and it just, you feel good basically after you record and the best part is the satisfaction of hearing the recording back and bopping to it. It's like a, a sonic diary entry for how you felt in that moment on that day. And it's great to look back at it and kind of listen back and be like, oh, well, okay. Yeah.